welcome back to another video today i'm doing a, a little throwback different different kind of video especially if you've been like subscribed to me for a little bit i did these videos um how strong is hagaromo otsusuki now hagaromo does play a major part in the series as he's held as the sage of six pass we see his weapons used by tenten yes tenten very used it poorly and he is seen in the work giving Naruto and Sasuke a portion of his power, a portion of his abilities to fight Kaguya, because if not, they all die. Also, he has the ability to span, him, span his consciousness forwards, even through death. While also talking to Kage, and most of what we see is through filler, not really manga material, but I've seen a lot of discourse saying that Hagoromo was just as strong as two renegades, uh, like Jubi Daris as strong, no. Hagoromo is easily the strongest in the series. Even what we've seen in Baruto is nothing compared to what Hagoromo has achieved if we were ever to see his full capabilities on design. For example, he has two Rene Sharagon. He has a Renegon top of his head. He has full control of the Ten Tails while also being the Sage of Six Pass. So he has enormous chakra reserves as being a direct descendant from Kaguya. Unlike most of the Otsutsukis, you know, Momoshiki, Kenshiki, uh, even the God Tree people that we see, uh, Jigen, you know, not Kaguya doesn't fit the standard, as they would have to get most of their power from karma, use their abilities through vessels and all that. Hagoromo being a half human, half Otsutsuki, directly hybrid, he is not, uh, sorry, he is not bound by any of that <laughs> he doesn't need a vessel he doesn't need this and he can create most of the things you got to think his direct descendants Endra and ashura made the two strongest clans that nobody was rocking with <laughs> he you know Endra and ashura are the progen the progenitors progenitors to the senju in the uchiha clan of course while also he's a master of sage chakra you're not messing with that while also having direct access to the orbs and his orbs don't really go away while also his abilities the creation of all things being the jupe you know having the ten tails fully on lock the only reason he split up the ten tails is because in old age he couldn't handle all that chakra so he split it up between his sons no sorry he gave one to ashura and then let the uh tailed beast go about their business and also when he wanted to share chakra with the world because let's remind him he, no one kakuya was not finna give up her chakra that wasn't her plan everyone was supposed to be white uh white white uh white zetsus but in turn he split his chakra up by the thousands my guy and still has enough chakra even in death <laughs> to say here you go naruto here you go sasuke i got you. I, i'm gonna give you a little bit a, a teeny bit of my power even though i'm dead to help you out because if not y'all finna die against my against my mother for real <laughs> and from the help of my half brother black zetsu though i don't think hagoromo ever found out about black zetsu it's just a nice known dynamic that black zetsu is his rather his half brother oh i would say his half brother kind of right <laughs> with that with creation all things i'll tell you more about more of his abilities Ooh, come on now with the share gone the rene share gone you know true seeking balls all nature transformations he he's not limited to wind all no he could use all of wind lightning and of course they're more advanced now than what he is because he's the he's the originator come on now yin yang release oh he has izanagi on lock the tools his weapons Izanagi. he has all everything you can ever think of within his abilities while also having the brains to use his abilities in battle so I would say he's still the strongest in the series. Others may disagree, but I but since we'll never really get feats for him or statements for him, it's hard to really 
hype him up as much, at least in the community, because there really won't be feats to support, to hold him to that power, especially in versus battles. But he's insanely strong. I hope we get more, uh, we get more, we get more into his character, especially since I've seen Kishimoto writing another one shot. Granted, it's about Itachi, and I have a different video about that. So like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.